What is up everyone, James from The Random Counter here, and man, last week was a crazy week for Nintendo fans, you know, my, myself included, right, I'm kind of a Nintendo fan here, you know, <laughs> but anyways, last week Nintendo went and did a Nintendo Direct, and man, honestly, I think this was the best Nintendo Direct I've ever seen, they've announced so many great things, some stuff was just, you know, things that were kind of locked away, and they finally officially released it, others were rumored for a while, but I don't know, as a Nintendo fan and somebody who grew up with Nintendo growing up, I think this is actually probably the best Direct I've ever seen. I'm gonna make a bunch of videos about all the other things that they announced, such as Metroid Prime, you know, and we'll talk a little bit about Octopod Traveler 2 and stuff like that. But for right now, I am gonna focus on the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance systems on Nintendo Switch Online. So let's dive right in. Yeah, so out of nowhere, they announced Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance to Nintendo Switch Online. And maybe it wasn't out of nowhere, because honestly, this was actually rumored a year ago. Last year, there were some rumors and there was popping up all over the place of Nintendo was working on Game Boy Advance emulation. And this was actually confirmed by a bunch of different sources. A lot of sources that I usually keep up with confirmed that yeah, Nintendo is working on that and it is coming. It was actually rumored to be coming out in September, but for whatever reason, they did not release that. There's actually a whole game list out there of games that they were working on or at least testing to see what will work with the Game Boy Advance emulator. And of course, we kind of figured if Game Boy Advance is coming, then Game Boy and Game Boy Color will also be coming. Well, that seems to be true as Nintendo officially announced it and it is available to play right now. I was playing some of it and man, it brings back so many memories playing some of these games. Some games I kind of wish it would have came out right now, but they're not available yet and I hope they come in the future. While others, you know, we are patiently waiting to see what they do with it. It's, it's kind of a weird mess right now, right? Like we have the Nintendo Switch Online announcing Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. And specifically with Game Boy Advance, there's a ton of the great hits from Game Boy Advance that are actually coming out in their own collections or have already come out in their own collections, such as the Castlevania Advance Collection. That, those are three games that honestly, you know, a lot of people love on the Game Boy Advance. And unfortunately, they're on their own collection and not in the Game Boy Advance Collection for Nintendo Switch Online. I personally think that maybe one or two of those games might show up as we did get the Sega Genesis version of Castlevania, the name uh, slips my mind, forgive me, I forgot about the name of it, but we did get that game released in the Sega Genesis Nintendo Switch Online, but I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see. There's a bunch of other stuff that they were actually working on that kind of hints at, you know, another collection that's actually re releasing that might make it into Nintendo Switch Online. I guess we'll have to wait and see what's there, but let's dive into what games they have officially out right now. Starting with Game Boy and Game Boy Color, the games that are on that list are Alone in the Dark, Game & Watch Gallery 3, Gargoyles, Kirby's Dream Land, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, Metroid 2, Return of Samus, Super Mario Land 2, Tetris, and Wario Land 3. Honestly, that's a pretty awesome lineup for the you know beginning of it, right? I, I mean, there's some pretty good games out there. I mean, personally, like Metroid 2 Return of Samus is pretty good. I, I prefer the 3DS version. The 3DS version kind of improved on it on every way, shape, or form. But nonetheless, it's still a really good Metroid game. In my opinion, it holds up better than the original Metroid game. Uh, but yeah, no, it's not as good as Zero Mission, but you know, the NES version I'm talking about. But yeah, Metroid 2 is good. Uh, Link's Awakening is probably one of the best Zelda games out there. And this is the DX version, so this has all the Game Boy Color palettes and all that stuff. Uh, that's another amazing game that still holds up to today. Uh, honestly, like if you were to play this, after playing the Link's Awakening Switch version, you probably wouldn't really notice the difference outside of graphics. When it comes to gameplay, they're really similar, pretty much the same thing, and it still holds up to today's standards. So it's such a great game overall. Kirby's Dream Land, which is an amazing Kirby game, which I believe is Kirby's first video game out there. That game also still holds up very well as well. Uh, and then there's Game & Watch Gallery 3, which is just a collection of like, you know, small games, it, it, it's all right. Gargoyles, I've never played. I've heard good things about it. It takes place in the Ghosts and Goblins universe, which that probably doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. So there's definitely a game you should try. And then Alone in the Dark, I've never played, but if you look at the trailer where they show it off, man, I'm impressed at the graphics that they show. They look really, really good for a Game Boy game. For those of you who never grew up with a Game Boy, honestly, when you look at those graphics, you don't think of a Game Boy game looking like that, right? When you look at a Game Boy game, you're really thinking NES type graphics. And this kind of looks like almost like PS1 era graphics, which is interesting, especially when it's coming from a Game Boy. 
uh, game. So yeah, that's one that I probably will check it out just to try it out. It's a game that I would never have bought. But yeah, looks interesting to check out for sure. Uh, oh, and don't mind me, I'm looking to the right here because I have my list there, so I'm just referencing that list. But yeah, anyways, yeah, there's, there's games that I wish would have came out, such as Super Mario Land 1. I don't know why Land 2 got there instead of Land 1. I know Land 2 is more popular and is judged by, you know, the majority of the community thinks that Land 2 is the best, or the better game, rather. I personally like Land 1, but I think a lot of it is because of nostalgia. The music in the game is just... And it just reminds me of a time where things were simpler, right? You know, those simpler times where you didn't have to worry about anything. Yeah, that's what Super Mario Land 1 does for me. It was one of my first Game Boy games that I played. And I really loved it, playing it over and over. It used to scare me too, especially at the end when um, you will rescue Daisy and it wasn't Daisy, which was pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, that game used to scare me, which is kind of weird. But it's still a great game nonetheless. I do hope it comes in the future. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see because they did show a list of games that will be coming out later on at least in the first batch uh, and that was not on the list unfortunately but let's go into what that first batch of games they have announced are going to be first batch of nintendo switch online game boy games that are going to be released are the legend of zelda oracle of ages and the legend of zelda oracle of seasons kirby tilt and tumble the pokemon trading card game and that's it actually which is not a lot that's only four games and it makes you wonder like is this going to be across the next four months? Is it going to be you know random? I, I kind of hope it's monthly, but we'll have to wait and see. Nintendo Switch Online for N64 has been pretty much monthly for the most part. I mean, last month we got GoldenEye. I don't remember if we have anything in December. I think we, I think we didn't get anything in December. And in November, we got Mario Party 1 and 2. At least I believe that's what it was. I, I don't remember there, but yeah, I know for a fact one month we got two month, two games. And then the other month we did. I'm, I'm almost positive about that. But anyways, I do hope it's a monthly reoccurring thing. I guess we'll have to wait and see. They might balance it where maybe they don't have an SNES or an NES game to show off. So they add a Game Boy game instead. Which I guess kind of makes sense. If you don't have an SNES game to add, then put Game Boy. But I mean, honestly, SNES is still missing you know, Mario RPG. It's a great game. Why is that not on there? Why is that available on the Super Nintendo Classic but not available on Nintendo Switch Online? Kind of kind of weird, right? I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But I'm very excited. Oracle of Season and Oracle Ages are probably another two of the best Zelda games ever made. Like, honestly, all the portable Capcom Zelda games are amazing, uh, including Minish Cap, which we'll get to in the, uh, later on in the video. But yeah, those were some amazing games there. Uh, Kirby... Uh, Tilt and Tumble I've never played, so it'll be, eh, I'm excited to try it out. I've never tried it out, so hey, you know, we'll, we'll, go ha we'll have to wait and see how that goes. And Pokemon Trading Card Game, oh man. I remember renting this from Blockbuster when I was a kid, and I was non-stop playing it. Honestly, I did not know how to play the Pokemon Trading Card Game when it first came out. I would just collect the cards and just try to figure it out and make up my own rules. But then after playing the Game Boy game, I kind of learned how to play the game. I had so many hours in that game. It was very, very fun. So I'm excited to play that game. But yeah, that's the first batch of games that we know they're coming. There's a bunch of games I hope will come in the future, such as Mega Man Extreme and Mega Man Extreme 2. Those were some really great games. Mega Man Extreme was pretty much a copy of Mega Man X1, uh, where Mega Man Extreme 2 was a little bit different. It, I believe, canonically, it takes place in between Mega Man X2 and X3. I might be wrong there. Or it might be X3 and X4. But the cool thing about Mega Man Extreme 2 was you actually got to play as either X or Zero. So it was an amazing game overall. I really liked it. There was other Mega Man games that were made exclusively just for the Game Boy. Uh, it would be cool if you know Capcom released those on there because they're not in any of the Mega Man collections. Uh, nor is the Mega Man Extreme games in the Mega Man X collection. So that, it would be kind of neat to have those come there. Um, what other games would be there? Yeah, I, I guess you can kind of have the Donkey Kong Land games because they are different from Donkey Kong Country. I personally wasn't a fan of the Donkey Kong Land games. I did prefer Donkey Kong Country, but you could add those games there as well. Uh, I know there's a pretty big following for those, so hey, I mean, why not add those games there? There is one other list of games that I think should come and I think has to come, and that's the mainline Pokemon games. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Silver, Gold, and Crystal. I mean, when you think about Game Boy, you can't talk about the Game Boy or Game Boy Color without talking about Pokemon. Pokemon was a huge, huge hit on the Game Boy, and honestly, Pokemon probably helped the Game Boy sell, honestly. When you think about it, I remember when I was young, I did have a Game Boy, the, you know, the gray Game Boy, and 
I remember I bought another Game Boy, the Game Boy Color specifically, just for, you know, Pokemon. And I remember I got the Game Boy Color and I got Pokemon Blue with it. And just because I wanted to see the blue color with getting Pokemon Blue, and of course if you had the Pokemon Red, the color palette was just all red on the Game Boy Color. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I remember that. And I do hope those games make it to the Game Boy Color uh, Nintendo Switch Online. But I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel that... Knowing the Pokemon Company, they might not release it, but then again, it was available on 3DS, so it's kind of interesting to see where that's going to go. I know there's some people who are thinking that Pokemon, the Pokemon Company are going to announce it themselves, which I can see that happening. I mean, honestly, if they announce it themselves and add it to Nintendo Switch Online and shadow drop it, I think people will go crazy. Like, I know I would. If, if you come in and say, hey, Pokemon... It doesn't even have to be red and blue. Pokemon Yellow is available today, or Pokemon Crystal is available today. I'll be excited, and I will definitely hop on and play it. I would love to reminisce with that. But yeah, I do see that coming in, because I mean, why not? You won't be able to purchase it anymore on the 3DS, because the 3DS shop is closing. So I think the next move for the Pokemon Company is just put it on Nintendo Switch Online, right? But yeah, let me know in the comments below what games you wish will come to Nintendo Switch Online for Game Boy. Now, let's talk about the Game Boy Advance. Man. Honestly, when you think of Nintendo handhelds, you can't tell me the Game Boy Advance doesn't come out on top. Even though the DS and the 3DS were amazing systems, the Game Boy Advance is probably a gold mine when it comes to Nintendo titles. Honestly, they, it has some of the most amazing games I've ever played, and a lot of those games still hold up to today. I mean, when you think about Golden Sun, for example, that was on Game Boy Advance, it's an amazing JRPG if you're a JRPG fan like I am. And honestly, like you can't replicate that. People have tried, and it's just never the same. Golden Sun is just a cult classic, but that wasn't one of the only franchises out there. There was also older franchises that they ported to the Game Boy Advance, and they've actually improved on it and made it even better. But let's go over that list of Game Boy Advance games that are currently available on Nintendo Switch Online. So going down the list for Game Boy Advance titles that came out, we have Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, WarriorWare Inc., Mega Micro Games, amazing game by the way, and Kuro Kuro Kuderden, uh, which is funny, I've never heard of this game before, and I did play it out uh, with FanXY, you can watch that stream over available on Twitch and also on YouTube if you just go to our live channel there. Uh, but yeah, me and FanXY, we did play that, and it was a hilarious game, pretty fun puzzle game, you actually just move around this like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like a pole or something, and you kind of go through this little maze, and the whole point of the game is you can't touch the edge of the maze if you do then you get back you get uh, sent back all the way to the beginning and then you have to go through the maze again pretty fun game honestly it's probably like a really good time killer honestly because the, the maze is very short like it might take you a few seconds just to get through unless you keep hitting the wall over and over again so a great time killer pretty fun game if you like puzzle games uh, uh yeah i'll say if you like puzzle games this is probably the game that you might like uh warrior wear micro games man WarriorWare is amazing games. They're just small mini games you go through. They're pretty much test like your reaction speed on a lot of stuff. Very, very fun. If you never played a WarriorWare game, honestly, I would say start with this. It is a very, very fun game. It caught me by surprise. The first time that I actually played this was on the 3DS when uh, you know I was part of the ambassador program, so they gave me the free Game Boy Advance games that nobody else got to get because they never released the Game Boy Advance games on 3DS. But anyways. It was part of that that list of games and I was hooked. I was actually very surprised at how hooked I was with that and I would go through and play it non-stop. I even was playing it earlier uh, today on my Switch and yeah, I was loving it. I was loving it honestly. But yeah, going with that, uh, another amazing game. Uh, we have The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, which is amazing. Like, it's a very fun game uh, for those of you who are into the Zelda lore. It takes place, it's the second game in a timeline, so it takes place, you know, a little bit after Skyward Sword, well, more than a little bit after Skyward Sword, <laughs> a very long time after Skyward Sword, but it's a fun game nonetheless, made by the same team that made Oracle Seasons and Oracle Ages, and it's a really great game, highly recommend it. Uh, we also got Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, which I have never played. I started it on my Steam Deck, because I really wanted to try it out. And sure enough, it came over here, so I will be starting it up on my Nintendo Switch after I'm done playing, you know, Fire Emblem and Metroid Prime and all the other games I'm playing currently. Uh, but it's definitely one of the games I'm really looking forward to trying out. I've heard great things about it. People say it's one of the best Mario RPGs games and one of the best RPG games out there in general. So I'm very excited to try that out for sure. Uh, and then we have Mario Kart Super Circuit, which does not hold up at all. 
I mean, it's using basically like the Super Nintendo style graphics on the Game Boy Advance and nonetheless it's very nostalgic. I played it. It's fun for me because I played it in my time but I think the younger generation that tries to play they're not going to be into it as much because it's just it, it just doesn't hold up. You're driving around and it feels like you're on ice so you're sliding everywhere. You can't stay on the course. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mario Kart uh, Super Circuit. <laughs> But yeah, and then final game was Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Brothers 3. Great game, because it's Super Mario Brothers 3. But what makes this one special is it comes with the secret levels that you unlock with the e-reader cards. If you had the e-reader cards, you can unlock like certain levels. There were like remix levels. Some of them were remakes of the Super Mario Brothers game, you know, the original one. And they were made in the Super Mario uh, Brothers 3 graphic style which is pretty awesome. There's other le levels that use Super Mario World elements and they just add it to this game. A great, great game. Honestly, it's probably the definitive edition of Super Mario Advance 3. I know there's an argument between that one and then the SNES version that came with uh, Super Mario All-Stars. Honestly, I used to think that the Super Mario All-Star one was the better one because of course the music and everything sounds better. But honestly, with these levels that are in Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, I think that's probably the definitive edition one of the better ones. Those new levels are amazing. I like that they add elements of Super Mario World into it, but you're playing in the Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, world, I guess you can say. So pretty cool game overall. Um, yeah, but it's that was actually a pretty heavy list. And these are just, what, six of the games? Yeah, these are six of the games that they have right now. The games that they announced that are coming soon are Metroid Fusion, an amazing Metroid game. It did not sell as much as say like Super Metroid, but the reason behind that is it did release on the same day as Metroid Prime, which is funny. It, I would have laughed if they released Metroid Fusion today. Actually, it would have been amazing if they released it at the same time as Metroid Prime Remastered. I think that would have been an amazing callback. Uh, they should have done that. Nintendo, miss, miss opportunity there, Nintendo. You should have done that. That would have been amazing. But anyways, Metroid Fusion, amazing Metroid game. If you haven't played it, highly recommend it when it comes out. Fire Emblem, well, what's known to Fire Emblem for us, this is Fire Emblem The Binding Blade, which you star, which stars Ellie Wood, Hector, and Lin. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ellie Wood is Roy's dad. This is a prequel to Fire Emblem The ba Blazing Blade, which is the game before this, that where you're Roy as the main character. So yeah, it's a prequel to that. Uh, Golden Sun, which I talked about earlier, amazing JRPG, highly recommend it. I'm so happy that it's here. Honestly, like I still play it on my Game Boy Advance here. Like, I got the Game Boy Advance here, and it's still an amazing game. Still holds up by today's standard. I'm so happy to have it on my Switch. And hopefully this leads into a new Golden Sun coming out. Not the DS mess, but like a real good Golden Sun. And then we have F-Zero Maximum Velocity. I mean, it's F-Zero, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, which is another amazing Kirby game. I mean, honestly, when it comes to Kirby games, there's very few bad Kirby games in my opinion. I think all of them are pretty great. They might be easy, but they're still fun nonetheless. So yeah, I, I really do like the lineup that they have going on here. But there is a bunch of mystery of the future of this, uh, I guess you could say, online platform, right? <laughs> and that mystery is what games are going to be added in the future? You see, a lot of the heavy hitters, they already have like their own ports or they're in their own collection. For example, Mega Man Battle Network is coming out later on, and Mega Man Battle Network was huge for the Game Boy Advance. Like, it probably sold just as well, well maybe it didn't sell just as well, but it was well known like Pokemon when it came out, and it was an amazing game. It was a mixture of RPG strategy, so it's a little bit different from your typical Mega Man game. But those games are already coming in their own collection, so what else can you add? Well, there's also the Mega Man Zero collection, which, well guess what? came out already and Mega Man Zero games as well were known as the top of the line when it came to GBA games and then like I mentioned earlier you have the Cap Castlevania Advance Collection which already came out those were three amazing Castlevania games that you know you can buy right now on the Nintendo Switch uh, eShop so those are collections that are already out and I think it's kind of a blow to Nintendo Switch Online for Game Boy Advance but there are still other options out there for example we can bring Ruby Sapphire and uh, Emerald. We can also bring Fire Red and Leaf Green to the console. I would love to have those on there and honestly like I mentioned earlier since Pokemon Company is not doing anything with those why not just release them online 
I mean, I sure will play it. I know a lot of other people will play it for sure. So I highly recommend Nintendo or Pokemon Company, whoever's in charge of that, definitely get that on the online console for us for sure. But before I go into speculating what games, or rather letting you know what games I would love to see coming to the platform, I wanna go back to that leak that I mentioned for earlier in the video. That leak that happened last year. There's a list of games that Nintendo was found testing for the platform. And let's just kind of read over that and see all the games they were testing, because it's pretty interesting. Now, I'm not saying that all of these games will come out on the Game Boy Advance platform, but what I am trying to say is I think we can probably get a hint on what Nintendo has been looking at, and we can kind of get an idea of what Nintendo might bring to the platform. Now, just keep in mind, this is not 100% concrete proof that all these games are going to come. But, you know, it's nonetheless, it's a fun list to read about. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. Forgive me if I'm moving over and reading my screen over here, but this is my monitor with my list of games there. Uh, so, yeah, I will probably have the list of games showing over my face, so you don't have to worry about me not looking at the camera. But this was tweeted out by Mondo Mega, and this was the library of games that was actually shown uh, that were, you know, being tested for Nintendo Switch Online and the Game Boy Advance emulator there. Uh, so, the list goes with Astro Boy Omega Factor. Car Battler Joe, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Hey, those are two Castlevania games that are in the advanced collection, so who knows? Maybe they might show up. Choo Choo Rocket, Drill Dozer, Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones, F Zero Maximum Velocity, Game & Watch Gallery 4, Golden Sun, which of course that's another game that was already there, uh, Golden Sun The Lost Age, Gunstar Super Heroes, Harvest Moon's Friends of Mineral Town, which is a great Harvest Moon game by the way, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, Koro Koro Puzzle, Happy Panichu, yeah, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Kuro Kuro Kuroden, which is already available, Lufia, The Ruins of Lore, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, which is already available, Mario Golf Advance Tour, Mario Kart Super Circuit, which is also already available, Mario Party Advance, Mario Tennis Power Tour, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mega Man Battle Network 5, Team Proto Man, Mega Man Battle Network 2. Mega Man Zero Three, a bunch of Mega Man games that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Metroid Fusion, which is already available. Metroid Zero Mission, which is an amazing game. Mr. Driller Two, Ninja Five O, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, Super Mario Advance Four, Super Mario Brothers Three, which is already available. Super Robot Tizen Original Generation, Tactics Ogre Knights of Lotus, Wario Land Four. WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. So these were all games that were tested on the Game Boy Advance uh, emulator that was basically what people were saying were being available. Um, there's this other screenshot that I will post on there. This is from their Twitter account, kind of showcasing how the emulator looked and everything like that. There's a bunch of videos out there, such as MVG. He went over this last year talking about it. And it's kind of interesting to just see this list. And when I saw this list and I listened to MVG's video, you know, for those of you who don't know who MVG is, that's a Modern Vintage Gamer. He's a YouTuber, but he's also a video game developer. And when you look at his video, it was like, you know, he kind of believed that this is a real thing. And sure enough, here it goes, it comes in. And going back to those, that list of credible people, he was one of them, but there's a bunch of other people that were talking about it that kind of gave this credit and it made it look real. And now when we look at it, a lot of the games that I mentioned on that list that was leaked are already available on Nintendo Switch Online. There's a list of games that are not on, uh, available yet, such as Metroid Zero Mission, which I believe is going to come in the future. I mean, why have Metroid Fusion but not have Metroid Zero Mission, which makes no sense. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission is actually amazing. It's a remake of the NES Metroid game, but it, with added content. And it's pretty much using like the Super Metroid art style because it looks different from Fusion. Um, so it definitely looks a lot more like Super Metroid, but amazing thing uh, for those of you who don't know, that's where Zero Suit Samus came in, right? You know, Zero Suit Ma Samus, Zero Mission, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's where that came from. But the interesting thing is Mega Man Battle Network 5, Mega Man Battle Network 2, Mega Man Zero 3, Castlevania Art of Sorrow, and Castlevania Circle of the Moon. All games that already have their collections were also named on this list. Very interesting to see if those games will still come out to the Game Boy Advance Online. Honestly, I do hope this list is legit and I do hope these games come out. But there are some games that I still think are missing from here that I would love to see. 
So let's actually talk about those games now. So talking about the games that I would hope will still come, let's get started with Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. You cannot talk about the GBA and not talk about Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Another amazing game that was available on Game Boy Advance. I mean, honestly, you see where I'm getting at, right? All these amazing games were available on Game Boy Advance. There's so many of them out there. Uh, but anyways, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, which is by Square Enix, is another game that I hope will come there. It's basically a tactics game. Not as good as Final Fantasy Tactics, but still fun nonetheless. Still a great tactics game. I hope that comes. Um, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, which was mentioned on the list, I do hope that also comes because Sacred Stones is an amazing game. I love it. It was actually my first Fire Emblem game that I played uh, and really fell in love with it. Love the story. Love how you start off with one character and then in the middle of the game they kind of branch out and you can choose two different paths. And of course there's replayability with that because you can go one path one playthrough and then second playthrough you can go the other path to see that side of the story, which is pretty cool. One of the few games that do that and I do like when video games do that. Uh, but yeah, that's another one. You have the Donkey Kong Country series. I mean, hey, why not? You have it already on Super Nintendo. I'm pretty sure people will play it also in the Game Boy Advance. I enjoyed it. I liked it because to me, it was just a portable way to play Donkey Kong Country. And I, I don't know, like when I really think about it, I've always been a portable gamer. I like to be able to play my games on the go. You can blame the TurboGrafx-16 because it was really fun to be able to pull out those cartridges from the console and put it, or the cards rather, and put it into my TurboGrafx Express and you know play around on the go. But yeah, that's another game that I feel should come. Mega Man and Base, which was a Game Boy Advance game. Even though the SNES version is superior, the SNES version only came out in Japan. So I really hope that that game also comes out to Game Boy Advance. So yeah, those are a few of the games that I would recommend it. I wrote, well not recommend, I would hope come to Nintendo Switch Online. A couple more that I just want to mention, you have Lunar. I mean, for those of you who don't know Lunar, Lunar is a JRPG that also came to the Game Boy Advance. It was a pretty awesome port to it. Unfortunately, you didn't get all of like the cinematic cutscenes. Not that I remember. It's been a while since I played it. But you didn't get all the cinematic cutscenes. I mean, honestly, I got it right here too. You can see a bite mark that like my dog did. Yeah, he kind of like, yeah, he tore it up. But uh, <laughs> he, it still works, which is funny. And it, actually, it was, now that I look at it, that's interesting. It was published by Ubisoft. That is very interesting. I did not know it was published by Ubisoft. But yeah, Lunar would be pretty great to come back. I mean, we haven't had a Lunar game in forever, and they're great JRPGs that have just kind of been lost out there. Sega hasn't put them out. I don't know who owns the rights to the Lunar franchise, but man, we gotta get these games on a modern platform. There's no way they'd be stuck in the past, right? Or stuck to only be emulated. We definitely need these games to come to the platform for sure. Kind of a long video today, but honestly, I'm super excited that Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance came out. I'm really excited to see what comes in the future. I I really hope that the Pokemon games also come. I mean, I mean, it's Pokemon, right? And <laughs> we all love Pokemon, so it'd be nice to see those games come there. I would love to replay those for sure. Even though you know I've lost like my you know silver copy, I don't remember what I did with my Pokemon Silver, but it would be nice to have those games just available on Nintendo Switch. And the Nintendo Switch could be the ultimate portable console once you start getting those there. I mean, the Steam Deck is giving everyone for its money because you can play modern games and as well as older games on there. But you know that's that's a different story. I would love to play all those games just on Nintendo Switch online, which would be great. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance and Game Boy coming out? Because, you know, Game Boy and Game Boy Color are two different systems, but are you excited for this? I know I am. I hope everybody else is. Leave a comment below and let me know exactly what you guys think about this. What games would you like to see come to the platforms? I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure there's a big list of games out there, but definitely mention that below because I'm sure there's a lot of games that we all want to see. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. We do stream uh, four days out of the week. And don't forget to check us out on our podcast every Sunday. My name is James from The Random Encounter, and we'll see you next time.